Ok, ok. <laughs> Pay you know, answer my question. Of, I'm paying all my dues. That's yeah. why she's doing it. It's not possible. So just because you pay bills, they cannot change. Because everything here is just bars after bars after bars after bars after bars. After bars, after bars, after bars, after bars, after bars. You're from Washington DC, in the Estados Unidos. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who won? Who's the winner? Who is the champion? Champion. Champion. Okay. The Don Diaz. Where are you from? Thank you, Matthew. Brazil? Shrimp? Yes. And the yellow fish, it's cooked hey, over yo. the palm oil. If you were to feed a Colombian person Brazilian food, they might be like, wow, this is too spicy. Yeah. Cheers. All right, I just look at the camera so they can see your beautiful face. You shy? Hey, keep in mind, a lot of the churches here were built by slaves, but slaves were not allowed to go in those churches. The black you have more sense than white. Salvador has a soundtrack to itself. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to Adventures. I'm here in Salvador, Bahia with Kerry HQ that you see right there, man. Hey Kerry, how you doing today, bro? Good, excellent, man. Happy to be here. Outstanding. So we just flew back from Rio de Janeiro. So what are your impressions, man? What do you think? Just two or three things that you notice that separate Salvador from Rio de Janeiro. Okay, cool. First thing is um, there's a lot more black folks here. Definitely, you can tell that they're more, um, they have higher numbers. Yeah. I'm not gonna, I think the situation is very similar to how it is in Rio, but there's just more black people here. Another thing is the, the party scene is a lot more tranquilo or calm here, if you will. There's not as much going on in the nightlife scene and then the third big observation for me is going to be the food the food has a lot more flavor here so i think those three are the biggest differences between rio and salvador bahia outstanding so, so this is a place that is basically the center of the city this is where most people go around we're going to be having a shot right here at ocarvino cachaça is the main ingredient to make caipirinhas caipirinhas is the Brazilian drink, number one. I've had so many of them, man, it's crazy. Wow, so yeah. So let's go ahead and check it out. Ladies, do you speak English? So-so. So-so. Is it okay if I ask you a question on camera? Okay. Is okay. it okay? Okay. Okay, what's, what's your name? My name is Victoria. Victoria, where are you from? I'm from Brazil. Oh, you're Brazilian? Brazilian. Wow. Oh, Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Oh, Paulo. I'm going there next. On, um, on Tuesday, I'm going there. Oi? Yeah. Uh, repete. Fala de novo. Okay, a few days. Uh, in tres dias, Sao Paulo, from here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you from? Washington DC, in the Estados Unidos. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. How about you? What's your name? My name is Rafaela. Rafaela, are you uh, from Salvador? Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Just like her. Yes. Okay. And what brings you here? Why are you here today? Uh, yesterday. Oh, you arrived yesterday? Yes. Okay. Mm, because... Uh, ferias. Oh, okay. The the the, fe the, the party. The, are you going to the concert? No. No, no. 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 We just, is it the Primera Vez aqui? Yes, the first time? Yes. Oh. Uh, estávamos em Maceió. Okay. Maceió. Maceió. Você conhece? Sim, sim, sim. Estávamos lá. Ok, alright. Habla um pouco de português. Uh, português. Eu hablo espanhol um pouquinho. Ah, um pouquinho. E ah, francês okay. também, é muito similar. É, tudo parecido, dá para conversar um pouquinho. Sim. Hablar um pouquinho. Sim. <laughs> ok, ter. graças. Uh, I'm going to give you my channel. Channel seu telefone. Give... My name is Ivan. So, from São, São Paulo, they flew here to. Um, Salvador Bahia to check out the place for the first time. It's very nice. No, obrigado. Thank you. So, so, yes, please follow. Okay. All right. I will send you my um, YouTube channel. Yeah. And then you can follow. All right. Ciao. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. All right. Have a good day. Bye. Okay. No, obrigado. So yeah, these are Brazilians. They're basically checking out their own city for the first time. Very cool. 
So uh, now we're gonna get some refreshments, man. We're gonna get some refreshments and we're gonna go walk around and I'll show you guys what this city looks like. I'm doing this without a guide, just with my friend, and we're just gonna venture and see what it's all about. So that's what we got here. Oh, Corvino. So this is the local place. This is where locals come. They come. They close kind of early. Around eight o'clock, they're closed. And you see the different barrels. They have so many different types. I'm gonna get the menu. Last time I came here, I had a guide, so I knew exactly what to get. But let's actually take a look at the menu. Can I, can I check it out? Okay, we got it. All right. Let's go ahead and give it a good taste. Cheers. Mm. Mm. This is so good. I missed it. Do you speak English? No English? Espanol? No. <laughs> like a cinnamon whiskey type of. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very interesting. Yeah. And it warms you up. You it does. You feel it going down. That's right. You can feel it going down the whole way. <laughs> So this is this is a very wow. you must try this when you come out here in Pelorino. So we ordered three different uh, drinks so we can keep on walking and show you guys uh, the city. That's what we're doing. We're gonna leave the bar. So right now you can see she's filling it up the bottle right there. We're gonna get three of them. So we met these lovely ladies here. So they basically told us what we needed to drink, and that's what we're gonna do. All right. All right. All right. Obrigado. All right, very nice recommendation here from these ladies. So now we're gonna walk around and show you what's up. Nice to meet you. What's your yeah, name? You Matt. Matt from Matt. Warsaw. From, from, Wal Poland. From, from Poland. From Poland. From Poland. But what exactly. region? What region? Uh, it's Mazowiecki. It's, I don't know how to say it, but it's Mazowiecki. Central Poland. Central Poland. Exactly. So what, what's closer, Warsaw or Krakow? It's definitely Warsaw. Warsaw is closer. Warsaw. Okay, sounds See good. See you later. Enjoy, man. All right, ciao. Bye. Here we go. So, I was looking for African clothing, and here you have Ocrevino. And right outside of Ocrevino, look at this. This place is called Little Africa for a reason. If you know a little bit about the history, you know, Salvador Bahia is the place that had taken the most amount of slaves. So the African culture is very, very strong out here. All right, it's very, very strong. And you can find like a lot of architecture here, paintings, you name it. The drums, the art, everything here is very African based. The culture, all the different shops, you can see right there. I will take you, and this is a traditional, you know, attire here, the white from the, the religion called um, Candomblé. That's basically what you got. This is the heart of the city. You can walk around, have a good time, you know, no issues here. Very safe, don't worry. Some people are worried, oh my God, can I walk around? I'm doing this without a guide this time, just so you guys know. I can't go as deep as I would with a guide, but you guys know. Hello, how you guys doing? Speak English? No? Where you from, here, Salvador? Okay, all right. They don't speak English, it's unfortunate. Basically, the tendency that you have here, they don't have nightclubs, they have bars. And the dollar bars have live music. So that's what you see here. This is basically what you would normally have. So yesterday we were looking for a place where you can actually go dancing and stuff. We wanted to feel the vibe, but we couldn't. Because everything here is just bars after bars after bars after bars after bars. And this is a very famous um, cross, where is it? The one right in front? So when you look at the pictures of um, Salvador, you know, a lot of times you see this cross in that church right there. Keep in mind, a lot of the churches here were built by slaves, but slaves were not allowed to go in those churches. <laughs> so check out, I have a video about this particular church right here. I'm gonna put the video link below so you can check it out. And it's very well explained, it gives you details and the history about that particular church. And this is a drink that I got, you know, from uh, Ocrevino, very strong cachaça. Let's continue the journey and see what else I can show you guys. 
restaurant called Kuko, and we met Mario, who used to live in Utah. Hey guys, Salt Lake. Nice one. I miss you a lot. Okay. <laughs> I came back about two years, but I intend a lot to come back soon. Okay. All right. So here you go. <laughs> waiting for me. Okay, What's guys. What's your favorite meal here in Kuko, man? Uh, Tell them. That is a mixed mukeka. It comes with a shrimp. Yes. And the yellow fish. It's cooked Hello. over the palm oil, and comes with um, uh, tomatoes. Purple onion and also parsley. Nice. And three more, three more side dishes. Okay. All right. Those are the rice, traditional rice. Okay. And pirão and farofa. Nice. Nice guys. Can't wait to have that. Love you so much. Thank you. See you. All right. Waiting for me. Okay. All right. I'm coming soon. All right. <laughs> That's what's good. USA, right? All right. Hey. This is great, so we're gonna try this food and let you know how it is, man. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Hi guys. All right. Now I'm gonna make the order. All right. <laughs> That's good. So we are right down here by this amazing church. We decided to take a stop and, uh, you know, explain, man, some food, man. So, carry, man, you're the Medellin guy, you're the Colombia guy. And you've been dropping a lot of videos, man, about food and different recommendations. So, so far, you've been here for a few days. What's your first vibe, man? How do you feel about food in Brazil so far, man? The food in Brazil. Now we were in Rio for a while, so in Rio we ate a lot more meat. Yeah. Uh, even though Rio is by the coast, I didn't feel like seafood was a big thing for them. Yeah. I still feel like they they kind of like meat more than seafood. Here in Salvador Bahia, I'm seeing a lot more seafood on the menu, so that's nice. Yeah. I feel like with the fishermen, they have a lot more local fishermen. You know, it's a little easier, I think, to get the to get the fresh fish in from the ocean here. Yeah. But flavor is big out here, you know. Um, coming from Colombia, as many of you might know or might not know, Colombian food is very, very simple. Very, very simple. <laughs> they don't use a lot of seasoning. Doesn't mean it's bad. It just uh, depends on on your taste, you know. Yeah. For if you were to feed a Colombian person Brazilian food, they might be like, "Wow, this is too spicy." Yeah. But for us coming from America, I think our taste buds are more aligned with the Brazilian. Very true. Taste buds, yeah. you know. Sounds good. So yeah, I've been eating good, been enjoying the food out here in Salvador Bahia. Nice. How long did it take you to get sick of the caparinas, man? How many days? <laughs> about four days. About four days. I probably drunk about four to five a day. Yeah. Four to six a day, maybe. Yeah. And it's just too much citrus. It's just too much citrus. So we're sipping on this, uh, what do you call it? Cachaça. Cachaça. And I don't, is this a liquor? It's a liquor. It's a straight liquor. I'm, that's a straight liquor I'm, that I'm they used like to make beer. the caparinas. But this is not mixed. But that's what they used to make caparinas. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So I better be careful with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's strong. It's strong. It's strong. Yeah. So guys, we're waiting for the food. And one thing you're gonna always have around Salvador, Salvador has a soundtrack to itself. You hear the music, this is basically the vibe everywhere you go. You have a light single right there. It's a little slow, but we're still gonna walk around and give you guys a view of Salvador. So if you're thinking about coming here, you know what to expect. All right guys, see you when the food arrives. So guys, our meal has arrived. So this is it right here. This is why we are about to tear up the fish of the day, the fish of the day. And we all have the same one. All right. Well, I'm gonna tell you what it tastes like right away. I don't know the names of these things. I forgot and I'm not gonna make it up. <laughs> this yellow thing here reminds me of couscous or ugali. It reminds me of that. All right, so let me take a taste and I'll let you know what it's like. Yeah, it tastes just like couscous but with um, yellow sauce. And this is a plantain, and then this is just a fillet, I think a salmon fillet, this is right here. Let's take a bite of this fillet, see what it's like. Mmm. Mm, very tender, not too salty, which is a problem I have sometimes with fish in some restaurant. This is really good. So guys, we had some drinks and we had three different dinners here. Three people, three dinners, and some drinks. We paid about 330 reals, which is about 65, 64 dollars around there, give or take. It was a fillet, it was amazing, amazing. Did you like the food, man? Excellent, excellent. excellent. Flavors, 
The little spicy sauce right here. Yeah, that thing was hot. It will light you up. Uh, it was hot. Malagueta sauce. What is it? Malagueta. 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 Malagueta pepper. All right. Thank you so much for telling us about the restaurant, man. I oh, appreciate thank you. Thank you too, man. I really appreciate you, okay? Yeah. For you coming the, this evening or oh, this afternoon. Yes. Okay, nice to meet you. You say hi to everyone from uh -huh. the US, okay, guys? All right, thank so you. So come back to Coco Bistro again. I uh, will do, we will do. Hey, so if you are watching <laughs> from the downtown core, you cannot miss this place. They have that cross and that beautiful church right there. That's what you have. And you can come up here. Have a good meal. So the food was amazing. I hope you've enjoyed learning about that little restaurant. It was great to meet a fellow American who now lives back in his own country. Palenquim is the store where we are currently in. Very interesting because if you go to Cartagena, you would notice a lot of you know black ladies wearing these big colorful dresses with the baskets of fruits on their head. They come from the Palenque region. And here you have Palenquim, which is the name of the store. But what it does highlight it's the same thing. These are the ind indigenous, but what you do have is the black lady with the big dresses. It is the same thing you find in Colombia, right there, Palenquim. So it's the same heritage with the big dresses. Very colorful. All right. Do you ladies speak English? No, no English. Espanol, Francais. Un poco. Okay. <laughs> De donde eres? Brazil? See? Okay. All right. It's beautiful. I mean, look. It's the same thing you find in Colombia. The Palenqueria. All right. So they have a lot of jewels here. Beautiful things you can get earrings, rings, necklaces, you name it. So come and get your shopping on here. Brigado. Okay. All right. So we're gonna continue the journey and see what else we can get into. So guys, we're walking now towards the Fallen Cross. The Fallen Cross is where they used to decapitate the slaves when they were misbehaving. As you know or may know, Salvador over here is the place that took on the most amount of slaves in the Americas. So as a result, you have a lot more of that African heritage here. So we're gonna go to that hollowed ground. I actually never been there. This is one of the places I've never been. When I came here to Salvador last time, I did not get a chance to see it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Fallen Cross. Hey, I met my African brother here from Nigeria, boys. Like Nigeria. Man, how long have you been in Brazil, my brother? How long? Get it to five years. Five years? Now four years, eight, eight months. Follow Portuguese. Was it follow Portuguese? No, Espanol. You are pretty Portuguese. Portuguese, to follow Portuguese. Cuatro años, ocho meses. Cuatro años aquí. Cuatro años, ocho meses. Okay, ocho meses, okay. Do you like Brazil? I like Brazil, but it's not really like my country. It's complicated. Do you want to go back? Sure, I'll go back. That is very starting. What do you say like that? Ah, no, sure. Nigeria is the best country in the world. Why? Yes, it has everything, but it's, 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 it's the only problem we have there is chief. No, Cameroon. Our government is chief. Cameroon no, is no, the no, best no. country in the world, man. We what are you talking about? Resources like Nigeria, best state food. <laughs> Nigeria have resources. Nigeria have everything. You don't have petrol, Nigeria have don't everything. Don't listen to this guy. It's Cameroon, yes, man. Let's be talk to you. You are Cameroon. from Africa. Let's talk to ourselves. What city? What city? These people will be looking at us. Nigeria is the best country in the world, but we have bad government. You make the, the one of the best music in Africa. I will give you Let's that. Forget about the Afro beats. Is Let the, the government good. When the government good, these Brazilian people will come and do holiday in our country. Mm. They, they will, I want them to come to Africa. Hey, what, they city, take what, Africa what city? What city are you from in Nigeria? I'm from Nigeria. What city? What city? What city? That's I'm from Nigeria. Okay. I'm from Motion State. Okay. You remind me of an American comedian. He's African too. David you know who it is? Miss Michael Blackstone. Like, yeah. lot of, lot of I'm going to tag Michael Blackstone. That's your brother right here. Hey, Mr. Michael Blackstone, if you're watching this, this mother sucker right here, just like you. <laughs> He's crazy. Right. He's crazy. He's crazy cool. Crazy. And he's right. in Brazil, of all places. Why Brazil? That is, why? No, no, that's, uh, why why'd you come to Brazil? You are really from Africa. Uh-huh. Don't you let's say to all these white people who think Africa is rough. 
Yeah. They don't give us priority. They don't give people. You, you everybody want to travel out, but you, it's just a country that you get lucky to go. Yeah. 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 But to be true, we, we black we have more sense than white. But our government is giving us. Money. It's corrupted. That's just the only problem we have in Africa. I'm not five years here. I have seen everything. Do you have a Brazilian wife? I don't. I don't have that. Your I wife is from Africa too. I have my wife in Africa. How long have you been gone? Four years. We are talking, I'm not going. You haven't seen your wife in four years? She has a whole other husband over there, you know that, right? I have my house, I have my apartment. Have but there's that. another guy in the house right now. Huh? There's another man in that house right no, now. No person, it's not possible. You've been gone for four I years, my brother. No what are you I thinking? Have I have a policeman. I'm, I'm not a poor man. <laughs> the policeman is the boyfriend. I'm not a poor man in Nigeria. No, I say it's not possible. I you give the them, policeman is not helping? I give them everything. They have everything. That's why they, they replace like you. Him because they, Man, nobody can replace Four me. years, my brother. You no, haven't been home. If you want to, if I want to call to my, well, my wife is even telling He'll me that be under the couch. I should not marry here. You don't want me to marry even. Is that how it is in Africa? Man, you've been gone four you think years. It's, like that in it's always like that, but no, anyway. Listen, four years, my no, brother. Like that, when you travel out, a man, you need to achieve something before you get out. Yeah. I, I'm part of the government in Nigeria. I'm moving part of the government, I'm a politician too. Yeah. So, but uh, uh, the, I just want to hold things so that whenever all the children, all small, small people want to come, I'll be able to help them to come. That is, yeah. This travel is not for me. Yeah. When you go, back to, in Nigeria, when you go back to Nigeria, don't tell her, just fly there. But don't be mad what you find. Because she is surprise, 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 my brother. Surprise, Nigeria. Yeah, cool. Otra, another husband. No that announcement. She's no already, she's already no, married. No, no. She's married to another. No, 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 no. It's Why? <laughs> Think about four years. So you telling me you haven't done nothing in four she years? She have till this year for nothing. Me. And I'm still paying. You not answering my question, my... I'm paying all my dues. That's yeah. why she's doing it. It's not possible. So just because you pay bills, they cannot change. I said it's not possible. The way I, the uh, my, the way we bring ourselves up is different from the other people. Really? Women so are not women. Is, women are different. Man, yes. He, he man, got her trained. He got her man. trained. <laughs> it's not possible. He got her trained. All right. It's not possible. Well, we're going to say. She is, she is even the one that he asked me to go. If not, I will not come. Oh, she asked you to go? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's even worse, my brother. That means that police officer was already doing the work. The bro. policeman is, is one of our children. One of her wife? One of my children. One of the children of my wife. That wife is telling you go that the policeman is still But your wife tell you go, go to Brazil, go far away. And you've been gone for four years. Let's you don't forget, put two let's and two together. About that. Let's forget Guys, help this man in the comment box, man. Let's Drop some comments. That. Tell my brother here it's let's over. Or like they say in Nigeria, up. it's over. It's over. Somebody go by the house <laughs> to let us know. You buy something for me, please. Man, you know, we travel a lot, we don't buy nothing. But um, what you buy, Pat? You buy anything? Yeah, I bought a necklace. You bought a necklace, yeah, because they have you buy a lot. Of, oh wow, just a straight African you stuff. Buy one. You, buy this one. you bought this one? Oh, this is nice, bro. This is real nice. Some African you, stuff you gotta, right here. Original stuff, man. I love this. Guys, he got all this stuff. So come and show this man some love. It's by the statue of Zumi over there. You know, you have some olive dome see, shirts. Come and see an yeah. Oh yeah, the dashiki man. They got everything right there. Yeah, man. He got the real joints right here. Wow. My brother, how much are they? How much? This one is uh, forty dollars. Forty dollars. Okay. Wow. All right. And you have the regular tourist tourist clothing, the bracelets right here. Wow. If you wear this, you take a picture for your inst for your Match.com Tinder profile. If you're African, you know, ladies appreciate this kind of stuff, man. Wow. Okay. Lagos. Thank Lagos, you, bro. Lagos, Lagos, Lagos. Appreciate you. South Africa, South Africa, South Africa. All right. Okay. We continue the journey, guys. Very cool, very cool. I have a lot of friends. So, guys, we're getting close to the Fallen Cross. The Fallen Cross is the hollow ground that symbolizes the specific area where most of the slaves were decapitated. I cannot believe I didn't see this last time. So, you have a lot of tourists over here. You have all these bracelets where you can buy them, put them down, and make a prayer for the memorial. We got the Palenqueria right there. You know? All right. 
and then all of these bracelets. And I think it to myself. And then the fallen cross itself. This Plaza Salvador is divided into parts. You have the upper part and the lower part. So you got to take the escalators and then go down. So this is the fallen cross. This is the exact place. It's a very big, big, big area. You know? So this is a horrible, actually a horrible place. But a memorial. So know your history know your history so guys what can you say you know still gotta come and learn the history and see the places where these things happen Espero lá ver se não demora É naquele avião que a gente vai embora Very dark history Muito obrigado Very sad history, but a must, a must visit, right? La Salvador Bahia, guys Don't miss this place Check out the Fallen Cross When you come here, very quick walk yeah, You've seen the cross, we went to eat We continued the journey in Pellerino, we're going to Michael Jackson Square. Now look at this beautiful lady here. Okay, okay. <laughs> we're going towards Michael Jackson Square now. So that's what you got here. So let me bring you guys the vibe. People here are so friendly. Easy to get content and great to bring it to you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you've never been here or if you've been here, you like Salvador. This is what it's about, man. This is just about to show you guys the vibes downtown. It's a slow day, but you know, you have a couple of things. People playing drums around these alleys right here. They move around, they move around, they move around. Salvador has a soundtrack to itself. And guys, are you familiar with this? Brahma is actually a Brazilian beer. <laughs> and I spoke to a few Brazilians. They actually like the big chains, like, Heineken's and stuff like that. That's what they like. But the Brazilianos, they prefer the big, the big names and the, the tourists. The tourists actually prefer the local beers, of course, right? Because we're just visiting. So we're getting closer and closer to the square. Hello. We're getting closer and closer to the square. And so you have a lot more vendors and people are playing checkers right here, man. But don't be playing checkers when she's playing chess, right? Like Jesus said. <laughs> yeah, they play checkers. Man. All right. Ooh. Get them. Get them. Yeah, get them. Get them. Come on. Okay. Oh, I gotta think. It's not down to think a second. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Who won? Who's the winner? Who is the champion? Champion. Champion, okay. Champion, Boyola. 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 Okay. All right. Brigado, brigado. All right. We continue the journey, man. Wow. Feel the energy here, the people, the colors. So that's what you have here in Salvador. And it's a very different vibe than Rio, right? I love Rio, but the vibe you get here is so different. It's so, so different. Man. Lots of Brazilians that are discovering this city too. It's not just foreigners from other countries. Yeah, people from all over the place. But what's really touching to me here is the different colors, man. Wow. See, you have green and blue. Look at this. It is so beautiful. Wow. People from all walk of life right here. All walk of life. Crazy. Look at these, they have these different 
murals or I should say painting on the different doors right here so beautiful you know So what happens here generally, this is where Michael Jackson filmed the music video, They Don't Care About Us. This area here, Michael's spirit is still alive. Still fans are coming here. They're playing drums around here. They love it. And this is like in Africa, they're making hair right on the street. Man, look at this. Oi. Man. This is nice. Hello. Hi. <laughs> you speak English? Yes. Where are you from? Nigeria. Nigeria. You're my sister. I'm from Cameroon. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How long have you been in Brazil? A year. A year? Do you like it? Or do you want to go back home? <laughs> Both. Both? Yeah. Let me ask you this. How much money do you charge for one person, like one head? How much do you charge for this? I don't place here for people, I only do it for my family here. Oh, you're not doing commercially, it's only for your family. Yeah. Oh man, do you know how much money you, you're playing with? In the US, people are playing big money for this kind of stuff. Big money. You should tell your sister to stop paying you. This is not free. <laughs> you know, what's your name? Farida. Farida. All right, I just look at the camera so they can see your beautiful face. You shy? Oh, look at this beautiful sister. Guys, I don't know why she's being shy. She's making hair just for family members. So if you come over here, you think you're gonna get a free haircut from her? They ain't gonna happen. Tell them, that is not gonna happen. Give me my money. Oh man. And she has a beautiful store. She's selling a lot of African stuff over here. It's nice. Where are you guys from? Russia? France? Je parle français aussi. Vous êtes ici depuis combien de temps? Vous êtes ici depuis combien de temps? Salvador ou au Brésil en général? Brésil, trois semaines. Trois semaines. Salvador, trois jours. Alors, qu'est-ce que vous pensez de Salvador? Oui, oui, oui. Hein? Oh non, j'ai une chaîne YouTube. Je pense. Ok. C'est quoi ton nom? Asia. Asia. Et toi? Zara. Et toi? Osana. Osana. Italienne. Italienne et française. C'est ça. Moi, j'aime beaucoup la France, mais les Françaises, vous êtes compliquées. Hein? <rire> ben ouais, mais ouais, 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 je vais en France tout le temps. Je veux une copine française, j'arrive pas. Euh, je suis occupé, je veux ceci, je veux cela. Vous êtes toujours occupé. Vous n'avez pas le temps de laisser un homme vous amener manger, prendre un repas. Non mais voilà l'attitude des Françaises. N'importe quoi. Vous êtes jolie mais vous avez tellement, vous êtes compliqué. Mais c'est vrai. Les Italiens encore pire. Non mais c'est vrai. Non mais je parle français, je suis du Cameroun. Mais j'habite à Washington depuis... Euh... Les Américaines sont bien que les Françaises. Pardon Les Américaines. Elles sont comment C'est pas mieux que les Françaises. Beaucoup mieux. Parce que l'Américaine, au moins, va t'écouter. Elle va te dire, ok, tu... qu'est-ce que tu vas me dire Dis-moi. Mais la Française, non, je suis copié, j'ai un copain, j'ai ceci, j'ai cela. Vous ne donnez même pas une chance à un homme de vous amener manger des crêpes. Mais c'est pas vrai. Ou alors McDo, pourquoi ouais. pas <rire> C'est romantique le McDo en France. Euh, euh, je pense que tout ce qu'il y a à prendre dans cette vie, je vais l'apprendre. Ah, <rire> uh, you're the French. Yeah. I'm looking at a shirt. I like this one. Oh my goodness. That's my shy sister right here. Now she's not shy no more. She's in full business mode. She's trying to sell something. What, what size? Uh, this is a large. Hey man. How much? You this? I want to try it. Yeah, if this one was a large. M is a snug. You know, yeah. maybe if I really hop in the smart fit, you know. Yeah. But I want to support her, you know. <laughs> 
She's yeah. got a really good. She's from Nigeria. Yeah, man. Nigeria is representing out here, man. Oh, it is. They're out here, man. They're out here. Yeah. So, guys, I'm about to buy this shirt. Yeah. Thank you. It looks really good. Really nice print. They want 100 reals for it, which is about $20. It's a very nice shirt. I tried it on the fist me, so I'm gonna buy it. My sister. There you go. Obrigado. All right. Thank you. My man Kerry HQ trying some African dashiki hat here. Trying some African print. That fits you good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you should get that. Yeah, I love the green. It looks good. Green's my favorite color. Oh, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks good. It looks really good. You're looking fly. That's my, mom, my man Kerry HQ from Houston, Texas. Finding his African roots out here in Salvador, Bahia. Up, up, up. Up, 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 up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Africa in the house. Man. Meet you. And we stay in touch, you know? Here's a card of mine, okay? All right. Thank you so much. All right, all right, see you next time. Ciao. Obrigado. Ciao. So guys, we continue the journey. This is Michael Jackson Square, where a lot of fans still come and pay homage to the king. Last time I came here, they didn't have the real size cutout of Michael Jackson. This is a new thing. They put it on, they take it down, they put it on, they take it down. But this is what it looks like right now. And then they, take, they change the picture of the king of pop himself that changed his picture. This was a different picture right here last time I came in. So when I came, I had a chance to actually go inside the house. So here, I'm a diehard Michael Jackson fan. And this is the exact place where he stood when he filmed the video. They don't care about us. <laughs> Right there. It's good to see <laughs> how it changes within a few months, right? Man, they add the silhouette and stuff. The house is actually closed today, but again, if you want to go inside where the King of Papa actually stood, I was standing right by that balcony, right there, and you can see it, you know, on the video. So here we are. I will call it Michael Jackson Square. So you have a lot of this is another famous church. And another day, a normal day, you will have the band Allo Doom playing right here so despite the disappearance of the king of pop you still have a lot of fans that come over here and take pictures and just remember what michael jackson used to be and do and film michael jackson forever so look there's always a lot of people right here always a lot you got my man carrie right there with his new the shiki out there man how you feeling with that shirt bro i just got it you know it feels great you know, I think it looks great as well, especially with me inside of it. All right, all right. He's about to help them out with Instagram, the pictures. Come on, see. Or come on, see. Instagram. Instagram. All right. Look at these beautiful ladies, guys. Beautiful ladies. Wow. Professional guy right here taking a pic, helping them out. The Don Where are you from? Thank you, Brazil? Si. Salvador? Si. Okay. Vocês? Uh, Washington, D.C. Washington? Yeah. yeah. Sejam okay. <laughs> Brazilianos <laughs> también? Si. Okay. ¿Qué es tu nombre? ¿Cómo te llamas? Journey. Journey. Yes. Okay. Mucho gusto. Realmente. All right. Oh, I got you Claudia Leite. So these are Brazilians checking out their own country, guys. It's awesome. Oh, this is a scene here in Salvador. A lot of emotions for a fan, man. I can't get away from this place. The food, the people, the culture, the vibe, the music. What is there not to like, guys? So guys, from the beautiful sea of Salvador. They don't really care about us. They don't care about us. Thank you for watching. Sorry, the Cachaça. Kachasa is getting to my head, man. Strong. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.